How are we doing today, everybody? I am back. I have a little less energy today. I apologize. I'm not so, not so pumped about things today. But yes, I am back with another video for you. Um, today, wait, stop. I have to stop. Cut. No, we're not going to do a cut. But here. Hey. 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 You guys are doing awesome, 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 awesome on the subscribes. Make sure you go do that. Right here. See, Jordan's going to do this thing right now where this bling thing comes up. It's really cool how it rotates and does its own little things right here subscribe make sure we're subscribing make sure we're subscribing subscribe another thing there's a donate tab is that what we're doing is that is a donate tab or what what is this tab jordan it's just it's, uh, it's under support oh you just go to support click shink slide down click donate right there Swack. get on there um you guys are doing great you guys are into this going and buying a chinese motor and beating it up you guys are all into it we get enough money and then we'll just put it out there which one do we want to go buy We'll go do that. We're not scared. That's what we're going to do. I'll match some of the money. Jackson said he'd pay for half of it because that's the way he is. But we need more, more, more. We want to get more. So keep keep going towards it. And then comment, tell us you did so we can know that you're part of it. It's going to be awesome. All right. So let's get back to this right here. All right. Are you ready for this one? It's going to be a good one. It's, I like this one. Top five used outboards to buy for your boat. Just plain and simple. Top five used outboards to go get for your boat, right? Boom. We're gonna, we kind of got it broke down here. So we got we got it down to like uh, your tin boat, flat boat, John boat, whatever you want to call that. That's all together. We got your pontoon, we got your 18 foot bass, we got your 20 foot bass, and we got your fish and swim. All right, so we went with the fish and swim just because we needed that other avenue. It was between walleye and fish and swim. We flipped the coin and the fish and swim came up. So that's what we went with. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start off with the 16 foot John. We just going 16 John, what were the best to do? We went with a 50. 16 John 50 horse, all right? So you got a 50 horse. Andy's, Andy, 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 Andy loves the 98, 97, 50 horse Merc. Two stroke, 50 horse Merc, two stroke. The four cylinder, the one that kind of sounds like a mini Harley Davidson. Great motor, great outboard. Uh, rectifier issues, possibly. CDMs, um, very, I had one. I beat the living dog crap out of it. Overheated it like every week. Um, I overheated so much that it melted the freaking head temp off of it and it still kept running. Um, I drove with broken upper motor mounts from hitting so much shit. Uh, it, it just kept running and running and running. It's a great outboard. It's a great product. If I was buying a used tiller handle in the late 90s, early 2000s, I would go with a 98, 97, two stroke, 50 horse Merc slash Mariner. Yeah, the Mariner too, because of the same damn thing back then. They were just the same. Uh, take the black off, put the gray on. That's the way I feel about it. Dun, 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 dun. So I, that's what I'd go with on the 16-foot John. All right, now we're going to bust into the pontoon. We went 150-style pontoons. So we went pontoon, 150s. Um, I think we're going to go like that pontoon that I, that more I was talking about, Jordan, that 150 Yamaha four-stroke. I'm going to go with like 2000 to 2005. Is that okay? Can I use that big of a window, five-year window for this? Um, and, I, and the only reason I'm doing that is because I'm not getting into the whole oh my god used or new pricing then. We're still t pulled back on that um, used pricing, which has inflated over time. What hasn't? I just paid five dollars a gallon for diesel. It's fucking awesome. Thanks, buddy. You know what I'm talking about. Um, the pontoon itself, you're going to want to have, pro it's probably that 18, 19 foot pontoon, uh, 150, 150 boat, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, but I'm going to go with the four stroke, just a standard four stroke, 150, bulletproof motor, Yamaha, four stroke. Um, 2000 to 2005, maybe in that ballpark, somewhere right there. I would probably go lean a little bit higher towards the 05 motor. Um, I don't think in all my time up here, I don't think I've ever had to replace a lower unit on one of them. I only thing I've had to replace on them is a rectifier one time, and we had to do a coil on one and an injector here and there. Um, but that's just lack of maintenance. That's just not getting it taken care of, running your additives and taking care of it. But besides that, that 150 is a freaking bulletproof machine. I mean, it is turnkey start. It runs every time. It's quiet. It's smooth. The whole pontoon's not shaking. It doesn't sound like a tin can when you're idling it down. So if you got one of those and you're trying to repower, you don't want to go pay the 20, 18, 15, 12 thousand dollars for one. I would be looking at the 2000 to 2005, 2006 um 150 yamaha that's the one just a standard four stroke no no just the standard four stroke all right well, now let's jump to the you want to do fish and swim next or you want to do bass why do you call fish and swim fish and ski i've always called them fish and swims because you can jump off the back and go swimming and swim around i'm not a skier i'm a swimmer mason's a swimmer he claims to be the best swimmer in the county he even shaves his legs well, i mean it is what it is mason you still shaving your chest I never did that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, he did. Really. Oh, 
Yep. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go to the bass boats. Let's start with the 18 footer 150. What would Sandy's? Optimax 150. I'm gonna say the um, probably 2005, 2004, not 2000, I guess the 2000s, the 98, 99s were still good too. My brother had a 98, 150 that ran forever. Yeah, it was a great motor, it didn't have much top end, but it was reliable, it got you to where you need to be. But I'm thinking we're gonna up the years on that. Let's go mid 2000, 150 Optimax. Um, the thing that got them, I think, was the reeds. They had, they broke reeds. And they were, they would idle like poo because they break reeds. People wouldn't know what was wrong with them and they, you have to just fix some reeds. Besides that, I don't, the compressor breaking off the back thing, they, they did a recall on that or a bolting on that. Uh, they, they upped the stud, I think, on that. or they, I think they changed the stud to a bolt. That's what they did. They put a bolt in instead of the stud. The stud would break off and the compressor would fling, fly on top if you hit enough stuff. It was really cool. So sitting here, hit something, wham, and fucking goes this way. It's really cool. It makes a mess, wrecks a bunch of shit. But they updated that. They did put a bolt in out. I'm pretty sure they ran a bolt in there with the washer to fix it. And after you did that, I don't think there's money problems. Um, but that's what I would go with. I would do with I would do that 150 Optimax. And you're probably gonna say, well, what about the four stroke? I'm just not gonna get into the four stroke stuff if we're looking at used for bass boats when it comes to that. Now, when we get to the bigger stuff, we may get into that. But this used stuff, I'm I'm not, the, the smaller stuff. I'm not gonna get into a, a used four stroke to put on there unless you're gonna get into. 10, 11, that type of stuff. If, you're, if that's your budget, that's where you need to be. But this isn't about that. This is about kind of being budgeted and trying to be um, part of, well, I'm not spending 20 grand. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna be okay down here at 10, 12 or whatever, or even eight, six, five, somewhere in that ballpark. Now, so we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with that Optimax on that 18 foot bass boat. No matter what bass boat it is, if I'm putting an 18, if I got an 18 footer, I'm putting 150 on, I'm putting a 150 Opti on. Uh, Merc Optimax. All right, let's go to 20 foot bass boat, should we? Let's do that. Are you just saying 20, 21, somewhere in that ballpark? Let's just do that. 20 to 21 footers. Um, we're going 250, 250 horse. There's two here, and I don't know which one to go with. Um, I'm kind of going to leave that up to you guys on the comments, what you guys feel. Um, I I may, I was a big Merc Opti guy, all right? I, I worked on them. I fixed a lot of them. There was a lot of them up here, but I'm also an HPDI guy. That Yamaha HPDI was a great motor. So those are the two I'm going to go with. Now the Series 2 was better than the Series 1, obviously the Series 2 was the fix. So I would say the 250 Series 2 or the 250 Pro XS. They're both probably going to be similar in price when you go to buy them right now. Um, I think there's less problems with the SA, or with the HPDI, the Series 2. But I think for me, parts wise, there's more parts available at this point for the uh, Merc Pro XS, the two-stroke, because I I know for a fact you call like Yamaha and the Yamaha techs don't even consider that HPDI a motor, I don't think. They don't even want to talk about that thing. So you got to find those guys that are out there that are really up on those things to kind of get, you know, I know JTM Outboards, that guy does great work. He's down there, um, rebuilding them all the time, understands the filtering, understands how to build them, understands everything that goes on with them. Um, there's a couple guys, Hydrotech, you know Hydrotech's gonna do some great things for you if you got questions on those Yamahas. Uh, but I, I think if it came down to it, if I, preference to me, I'd probably put the 250 Pro XS on. Um, just because I've dealt with it a lot. Yeah, they, they blow up, but everything blows up. Um, we got one right there. We got one right back over there. We got them, we got them laying around. Um, so I, I preference would probably go the Merc on that, the Pro XS. Now you guys might want to go the Yamaha, that's why I'm leaving it up to you. I would have zero issues running either of them, but if it came down to it for parts for me, I know I can go up here and just grab some parts on a tournament morning or the day before and just boom, get it done, because I got a lot of that stuff. And basically that's what it comes down to for me, where you guys probably don't have that ability, but your shops, your local shops may be more Merc, you know, they might have that stuff laying around. So um, I'd go 250 Pro XS, that's what I would go with. Um, and I wouldn't go with the, uh, Torque Master gear case, I'd probably just run the standard one just because, because it, it doesn't blow up as much, it seems like. So um, that's what I'd go with, 250 Pro XS. Um, now let's get to the fish and swim, or fish and ski. Fish and swim, ski, swimmy ski, whatever. Uh, 200 boat, we're gonna go with 20 footer, 200. Um, this kind of is where the variable comes in, okay? Because if it was me and I was gonna enjoy it with my family, kind of just cruise, I would go with the four stroke. I would put the 200 four stroke, which 200 would I put on? I would probably put on the, oh, see this is a tough one. 
Is that why you did this one? Because you knew I had problems with this one? What was that? Jackson, we're filming here. I know you're working, but what did you kick? Cardboard. God. Good help, I tell you. Um, fish and ski, I would probably go with a 200. I'm not gonna go with the Merc. I'm gonna go Yamaha. I'm gonna go with the Yamaha four stroke. Just standard Yamaha four stroke 200. Um, just for the fact of, I, I just feel it's gonna idle smoother. There's gonna be, it's just more setup for what you're gonna do. And I want you wanna be able to enjoy it because you're not always gonna be on plane. You're gonna be idling, you're gonna be just cruising. Um, you're gonna get it quieter, smoother. Great acceleration, you'll be able to swim behind it, you'll be able to fish behind it, and you'll be able to ski behind it. Everything you want to do behind that thing you'll be able to do because that Yamaha will be quiet, smooth. Um, everything you would want out of it I think would be just perfectly fine to do what you want to do. Now some of you skiers may disagree with me. I don't know. I don't even know, do we have any skiers that watch our stuff? We've never commented on this skiing thing. I'm not a skier. so. Um, but for me, if I'm, I'm not really a skier, but I, if you like that style boat for your family, that's what I'm looking at. I'm saying the 200 Yamaha four stroke, um, put it on and just enjoy it. Enjoy the smooth quietness, being able to idle through no wake zones or idle just idle to the beach and be able to get the reliability of the Yamaha. So for me, it would just be a standard 200 Yamaha is what I would say. Um, we just did a 251 uh, a while ago um, on that boat. But that was a while ago. I don't remember when. Long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago. Whatever. Um, but that one, that one is a kind of a freakish little thing. What he's got going on there. He needed a jack plate. I don't think you'd want to get in, even into a jack plate on this one. I don't think you'd get a jack plate even on these bolts. Um, the only reason he wanted it was for kind of doing some wake offsets and some different things, flattening the bolt out, whatever. Um, but I, I still would. And there's no Suzuki's on here because I feel that the Suzuki's have etched themselves into the sense like probably 11, 10, 11 ish, probably maybe even 12. So that's why I'm not putting many Suzuki's in here. I'm a big Suzuki fan. You guys know that um, for reliability and everything else. Uh, but you're going to pay premium dollar for them. So that's why I'm sticking with the Yamaha and the Mercs. I don't you don't see Evanrude's in here because I want you guys to get home. Um, and I'm not and, and I'm not bashing Honda. It's just I. I, you don't we don't see a ton of Honda repairs and a lot of Honda rigs you know what I mean so um, I'm just sticking with the Merc and the Yamaha battle here basically when it comes down to it if we we're going new I would put a 50 I would put a 50 Suzuki on but we're not gonna get into that we'll do we'll save that for another video how's that sound let's do that for another video um, so let's do a quick recap can we do we got time for a recap sure I don't want I don't want to take into your time because I know you're a busy guy Jordan all right 16 foot John 50 uh, 96, 97, 98 ish, right in that ballpark. Uh, Merc slash Mariner, tiller handle, that's what I'd want. Power trim, tilt, everything. Three or four cylinder, good, good motor. All right, pontoon, that's uh, 150, just a standard Yamaha 150. I would say, you know, the early to mid 2000s uh, motor is going to get you what you want. 18 foot bass boat, uh, I'd go with that 150 Opti. Um, and not so much even the Pro XS. I mean, you get a 150 Pro XS, put it on for sure. But I'm just saying the Opti would work for you just fine. Uh, the 20 foot bass boat 250 i'd go with 250 pro access that's the one i would go with but i mean real close behind would be the hpdi series too that's be real close behind and for the fish and swim slash ski i'd just do a 200 yami just a standard 200 yami um just enjoy the quiet and the ability to just be with your family and cruising idling doing what you're doing skiing swimming fishing whatever and that's basically what you got to do when you get that fish and ski is it's an all-around boat most of them come with trolling motors most of them come with the walkthrough you know, most of them have multiple seats for family, so that's why I've just said 200. I mean, that is my top five used outboards for your boat. And I hope I got your boat. If I didn't get your boat, comment on your boat. Tell me what I missed. We'll maybe do another video, right, Jordan? We can always do a flip back. Um, but yeah, it's a Merc Yamaha style battle, I guess, just because um, that, that's when you're buying used, that's what you gotta go buy. Um, and nothing against saltwater guys, but I wouldn't buy one from I just went to it. You, you didn't get to see the gator tail that was here yesterday. Came from salt water. Oh. I sent it away. It's turning to powder. So that's just what I'm saying. Um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I did. Um, I was excited about this one. That's what I got for you. Your top five used outboards to buy for your boat. That was pretty good, Jordan. I like how you just went after it with your. You bold printed it, you got it big, that's nice. 
for your boat. So yeah, if we missed it, comment. If you don't agree, comment. We like that. Comment, comment, comment. Tell me what you got. Tell me, tell me if you got this rig. Tell me that's what you like. All right. We appreciate it. We love the comments. Uh, Jordan and I have been doing well. Jordan, better than me, has been doing well and sending them to me and having us answer. Um, another thing, can I quick do another thing right here? There's a lot of people calling and calling and wanting to talk to me. Um, it's hard for me to get to the phone. Katrina does an outstanding job of relaying these messages. There is a quicker way to get me. We have a, that same donation tab. Is that the same donation tab where you can ask a question? You can go there and ask a question. If that comes through on there, Jordan will get me the question immediately. And he kind of forces me to answer this stuff because you're paying. So you just did a simple donation. That's all it is. And we take all that money and we're going to give that back. We'll probably give it back to the kids this year. I kind of want to do like a Christmas thing for the kids this year where they come here and they get some gifts and stuff like that. So that's kind of what we're doing. So that's where your money's going to go. Um, and you'll be all part of that. I mean, we'll let you know what we're going to do with that stuff. Or we'll give it to the community. We'll do some other things around here. It's, um, all a, it's all a free will donation, so yeah. it can be whatever you Yeah, whatever and it's free will. I mean, it can be 5 bucks, it can be 10 bucks, it can be $100. We don't care. I mean, you put $100 down, I'm, I'd probably call you back, like ASAP. Um, but it, that's just what that's about. And that's it, Katrina gives me these lists, and by the time I'm ready to go home, I really don't want to answer any more boat questions, okay? I apologize. I don't get to them. She's been telling people sometimes two weeks, five days, two weeks before I can get back to you. If you don't want to wait, get over there, drop that don donation tab. Boom, click on it, donate some money, and so submit your question. Jordan will definitely get it to me, always gets them to me within, what, sometimes that day. You'll text them over to me or send them to me. So, and I will get back to you. I'll usually do them before I go to bed or if I'm up in the middle of the night like I've been the last five nights. So, um, that's it. That's all I got to say. I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate the support. We appreciate the support. South Africa, you guys kick ass. We love it. Um, hey, Keith Murphy, gambler, love it. There's a lot of things going on in the boating world. There's a lot of things happening. Uh, Vexus, there's, <laughs> we shouldn't do anything with that, but you heard anything. Maybe, maybe coming up, you're gonna do some Vexus things coming up? Somebody donates. <laughs> if somebody donates, we'll tell you what's going on with Vexus. We got some ins, but there's a big shake up there. Something's going on there. I don't know what happened. Can we use the bounce chicka wow wow for that? Or no, yeah. is that legal? Yeah. Then we can oh. do that. All right, that's what we got going on. All right, but anyway, we love it. We appreciate the support all of us here do. And as always, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to witness the madness that now the Vexus people are saying, speed, money, anybody? Uh, no breaks, we're out, see ya.